All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. The old father is with us. Well, he was with us for a long time, but was he really? He was kind of absent. <laughs> I guess he was in Odin sleep, but he has awakened now. Look at this. He is such a boss. Looks so regal. All golden. Those horns. I'm loving it. Looks beautiful looks amazing all right let's go back and check his skills tier 2 skill immunity cancel effect increase skill damage by 60% increase bonus damage by 42% there's no change here first skill applies to enemies deals 10% bleed damage every one second removes elasticity pretty vanilla second skill 4% decrease of all defenses, stacks up to 40%, ignores immunity, 10 seconds, guards against 4 hits, 5 seconds, move using the V-pad while using a skill, pretty nice. Third skill, summon an illusion with 100% of the summoner stats, now this is an interesting one you're gonna see in the skill preview. 100% uh, chance for immunity to all damage for 4 seconds only and the most important one accumulation on damage dealt pretty goddamn nice 4th skill deals 15% bleed damage every 1 second removes elasticity silence 3 seconds very ABX centric this one ignores targets dodge rate by 100% for 5 seconds with a cooldown of 15 seconds now this means you may be able to forego the you know dodge strikers against corvus or quicksilver i guess yeah that's that's a possibility i think fifth skill deals 45 percent burn damage every one second stun two seconds whatever incapacitation nice six percent decrease of all defenses Stacks up to 65%, ignores immunity for 10 seconds, pretty goddamn nice, this is amazing, invincible 4 seconds, increases all attacks and defenses by 30%, all speed by 1% and critical rate by 30%, removes incapacitation only for 6% though, mm, that one is a bit of a head scratcher, the cooldown is 9 seconds. So you're gonna have like a three seconds where your crit rate is not gonna be capped if you rely on this buff which is i don't know doesn't doesn't seem ideal but we'll see we'll see what's gonna happen passive decreases all damage received by 30 percent there's no change here leadership removes all debuffs increases all resistances by 30 percent again no change let's go and preview the skills all right let's check the first skill look at this so beautiful man he slashes two times and dashes through them lovely now check out the second skill amazing man everything looks so amazing and he throws the spear wow you can move with the v-pad lovely now check out the third skill though there is a he summons an illusion find out the illusion where is it where is the illusion guys where's the illusion it's the goddamn raven, it's the goddamn bird! <laughs> I was like surprised at first when I saw it. I was like, what the hell is going on? Where is the illusion? Alright, let's check out the fourth skill. Bam, it jumps. And owns them. Watch out, watch out for this now, watch out for this, for the fifth skill. Look at this. Oh yeah, boom. Looks like the apocalypse is uh, fifth skill, but yeah, it's fine I guess. Check out the three, 
the tier 3 skill though, check out the tier 3 skill though, amazing man. He comes... <laughs> what, is, what is he doing? Did he, did he take the horses up or something? What the hell happened there? <laughs> Alright guys, so now I'm gonna give you a preliminary rotation. I'm fairly certain this is a good one actually, but still things may change in a couple of days when I do some more testing. Now I'm, go I'm gonna spell it out for you first before showing exactly when to cancel each skill. So it's gonna be five delayed cancel into four, very delayed cancel into three, cancel into two, cancel into one, and rinse and repeat. Now this is this rotation is for rage. When you're using a CTP of rage, definitely if you're using a regular proc, it's gonna be different. And but I'm not sure what it's gonna be for now. We're gonna talk about it later in the coming days. So the fifth skill, when do you wanna cancel the fifth skill? You wanna cancel the fifth skill when his projection appears. Right about here. Well, maybe a little bit faster, right about here. When you see him, you can cancel it. Fourth skill, now this is an interesting one. What he does, let's check out the animation again. He jumps up, he's in knife frame, he's down, he takes the spear out of the ground and he's out of the eye frame while taking out the spear out of the ground. So what you wanna do is you wanna cancel right after the eye frame ends, right here. So you're gonna cancel into three. We're doing the third skill pretty much for the buffs. Also, I forgot to say, there's a hidden buff, hidden max HP recovery and all attack buff. 20% increase of all attacks plus max HP recovery right here. Essentially, we're doing the third skill for those buffs and you can immediately cancel it. The second skill, the all defense down applies immediately and the hits still keep going. Let me show it to you. Two immediate canceling to three. Check this out, the hits still go. So you don't have to keep the animation going. Essentially you do like three cancel, two cancel into one and let the one run. Depending on your attack speed, you may need to cancel the one at the end or just let it run all the way and rinse and repeat into five. Now the tier three rotation, I'm not sure about that because obviously I don't have tier three Odin, so I didn't do any tests with it, but I presume you would probably want to replace the four skill with the tier three skill and actually kind of like let it run, I guess. So now this is just a presumption of course, no testing has been done here about the tier three rotation, but I presume it would be something like five delayed cancel into tier three. Let it run until there is around two seconds for the fifth skill to come off cooldown. Into three, cancel into two, cancel into one, cancel again into five. Something like this. Five delayed cancel into tier three, let it run. into three, into two, into one, back into five. And then you keep going into four, into three, into two, into one. And if you follow this rotation, now if I, I canceled the four skill a bit too early, but if you follow this rotation, every second rotation, you're gonna have a tier three. Five, the light cancel into tier three. Let it run, three, two, one, again back to the fifth skill, delayed cancel into four, very delayed cancel into three, into two, into one, let it run, and then five, you see, we have the tier three again, let it run, 
into three, into two, into one, into five, delayed cancel, into four, very delayed cancel, into three, into two, into one, so on and so forth. Let's get out of here. He actually seems pretty strong. So with this build, as you can see here, no Urus, right? There is ISO 8 set, but it's not active. No ISOs, custom gear, two star guard break, you know, defense. Uniform normal. I did stage 50 call with him with this build this is this is amazing he seems pretty strong i think i think i'm gonna tier 3 him to be honest <laughs> i mean hopefully hopefully soon if the rng gods bless me with potential if you know what i mean all right guys thanks for watching next time i'm gonna show you some gameplay with level 60 odin against some world bosses and let me know if you actually want to see a comparison with the base look i can definitely do that again thanks for watching take care i'll see you next time